Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for more Grand Ages Medieval, where apparently I've been told by my uh, Twitch chat that I'm an idiot. I'm about to attack the wrong person by moving out over here. On the way. There's an easy way to tell. Yeah, no, I'm not actually hostile to them. Then again, I probably should include in that I was hostile to these Let's guys the around the time that their numbers were appearing on red in the screen. But unfortunately, this is going to complicate some things. Getting my troops... I, I hopefully have enough hard. morale to get there. Um, but these crossbowmen... are going to have some supply issues. Good. So. Good, we definitely have enough supply here. Uh, yeah, build lumber here. Let's go. So, this time we've got a lot more weaker towns. Uh, this was his, probably his second town. I'm wagering that's his capital. I would like to present you with an offer. From Odessa. Oh, Excellent sure. decision. He wants to pay me 20 grand to uh, let us have a transit agreement. Let's go. That's fine. So we have a decent army here. And we should be able to take this town probably without too much of a... Ooh, okay, flee, flee, flee. Get the fuck away. If everyone's morale is decreasing like that, it's because, yeah, we ran into the negatives on money. <laughs> that can happen. Uh, that may occasionally happen. On the way. It's probably because I can't actually support this many troops. With cash. Um, economically, I may not be capable of supporting this many troops. This is the earliest I've ever been in a war, so, you know, besides not counting the last war. I think I should probably lay off the future production of any further troops, though. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Let's go! But it's gonna make things hard. I'm instead gonna focus on increasing production. Of things that I need. Yeah, I'm beginning to think the crossbowmen are just too expensive to continue supplying them. We need more meat, we need more pomp, we need more woven clothes and regular clothes that I haven't even started making yet. We actually need more bricks. Well, alright. More bricks we can probably do. We're in trouble. We are. What's going on? Yeah, I think everyone's morale is shit, so what I'm actually gonna do is get rid of the mercs. We'll keep the, uh, you know, the good troops. Just get rid of the mercenaries for now. Uh, since they haven't been offensive to us, I don't need to be offensive towards them yet. Alright. Because crossbowmen are really good, assuming I can actually supply them with cash. So, I, I think we'll be okay. Uh, there are already 30 businesses here. Uh, Antalya. I don't believe there are. There's literally only enough room for three more businesses. Okay. Alright. We, we can do that then. Uh, we just need to try and produce more goods that we need. And strongify the economy. And if we're going to do that, I'm going to get some more towns going. So. I don't want at least two more settlers. Probably three, actually. When I have money. Ugh. Ooh. Too many. Yeah, my money jumps around a damn lot with all the trade that goes on. I mean, I haven't even really developed this region yet. This has been sitting in a recession for God knows how long. Yeah. Uh, do I even have a decent trader? 
like going anywhere along here anymore? That's or did he like possible. end up dead? Okay, so this still exists. He still does things, but he's capped out, and that's probably a big issue. I think I just need more carts. Which, you almost always need more carts, so it's no surprise. Let's build more carts. Now. Uh, We're shutting off. Yeah, wine over there. Is good. Uh, settle here. The Saloni key. Uh, metal and coal here. Way. Perfect. Uh, like the settler here. And... It's yeah, actually the wine here. We'll use that as well. Let's go. Okay, we can get here. Oh, Castoria. And Larissa. A beautiful land. Good. Alright. Builders. A good choice. Link the cities up, please. So that way we can hopefully develop a nice trade route along the here. Scenic route. Good. So, yet another trade spine that we'll have. Oh, soon. And you still need to develop more. There, I need to get up to rank 15. Because uh, that's the highest rank in the game. And I should really try and macro up my economy hard until I can reach that. So let's start. What do we need? We need wine. Okay. Easy. Build, build one there. It's actually the only city we have producing wine right now. Uh, Adana could probably stand to produce some wine. If I ever have money again. It's a pretty big if. I'm actually just going to disband my whole army. Fuck it. There's nothing I can do. The army, army right now is way too expensive. I'm just going to have to hope he doesn't attack me. The army is too expensive, and I need to focus on my economics and get shit done. I mean, I could actually probably just stand to make 30 of these. That'll produce 600 wine. How much wine do I need right now? Actually, not all that much, apparently. What I'm apparently short on in general here is meat and pomp. Although for pomp, I will need an extra 10 factories. Which is far from ideal. Uh, good call, Lacuna. It is something I will need, but that will be more for on a regional basis. Each region will generally have a city uh, that I, I will use similar to Constantinople. There. Uh, with which to do that. Uh, and then those regional cities will all be linked up to each other through trade routes. And with massive traders. That That is a more of a long-term thing. Uh, right now, uh, the city isn't particularly overloaded. Like, the city still can grow and expand a lot more, so it's not particularly problematic or anything. Like, the warehouse isn't full. Warehouses are full, far from full. You know? So, oops, cancel. Warehousing, right now, far from full. Uh, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, we apparently have extra honey. But I think, yeah, in general we have way too much honey anyway. Uh, we also need to get working on our clothing. Okay, how many? How much clothing do we need right now to cover all demands? 15. 30 businesses. Build a fucking church then. Go. Start with building 8 then. Get, get the demand out there. Go. We'll start with that. Uh, we need to uh, have enough set up for 15 though. 15 clothing. Which means we're going to need 30 of these probably. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of work done.
Oh, jeez. Odessa. I present you with an offer. A trading room, sure. Decision. No, no sweat, sure. Alright. Uh, how big does Galestown and Nopal look on the map? Uh, about this big. And it's only about half size, as I said before. <clears throat> it's only about half size, which is good. So I have a small group of mercs here. That's where we're going. Let's bring go. everything over here. Apparently, I have a couple of mercenaries here as going. well, because. I never understood why we had a peace treaty. Hey, you'll understand pretty soon after I wreck your face. Ankara is a pretty roughed up city, and I'm guessing they don't have many military men to defend it. So, conquest of it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Trebizond is like fully fortified castle, so that's pretty good. Um. So, we now have actually met our demand for pomp. Uh, how many of these do I have? So we need eight of these. Just like that. That we will need three more of. Three more of. There. God knows we need a ridiculous amount of building materials now. How are we doing on metalware, by the way? We're actually short supplied on it. It's not surprising. I'd really like to get Severin going as a metalware's production facility, so let's start on that. Just metalware. Uh, so that requires how much? 20 of each. Plus some spare. So, 8 would be good. And since this is 5, we can just build 6. There. Again, we'll need a whack load of resources, but that's okay. This guy's going to bring a ton with him. Uh, unfortunately, it's capped out, but there. Deliver a bunch and stuff will get built. Similarly. For now, though, the city's pretty much capped out, though. Yeah, we can build three of those, though. Get some extra metalware. When he gets uh, back down around Constantinople, I need to remember to give him extra... Extra carts. I also need to remember to build more carts. We have eight in the city, so that's not bad. But I mean, I want to be able to have a trade spine there. And I, need, I still have several traders who are under set, so. There we are. Now I can hold 2,000. That's the goal for all of my regional traders who work along the spine. They all need to be able to hold 2,000 each. Everyone's just missing a bunch of bricks. You've received the new title, Basilius of Byzantine. Which is obviously a localization error, I'm assuming. Because it should be Byzantium. But that means we've reached 30%. Now what does that actually do for us? Well, you'll notice we can now actually see, constantly, everywhere inside the region. Like, Crete's been revealed and stuff. Uh, by, occupy, by, by having 30% of the region belong to us. We uh, can now see everything inside of it. Which is pretty cool. It also means that nobody else can have that bonus. Uh, unless they have more territory than we do. Which probably won't happen. Probably. But uh, yeah, that's the first on our path to victory. One down, like 13 to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, there's 14 regions, and we just got our first one under our control. Suckers. 
It's ours now. And it looks like we're going to be getting the caucuses second based on this asshole. Mm-hmm. And we'll probably move into the Middle East. Expand out there. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. So, how are you doing over there, huh? Perhaps you could help me with a small task. What else? No. I suppose a transit agreement will suffice. Keep degrading the alliance. Eventually we'll just invade Ankara. So, I really suppose we don't need this guy doing this road anymore. We don't need any special supply line to it. There we are. So set up that trade line along here instead. Good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I'd like to thank everybody for watching today, though, because we're unfortunately our episode's at an end. Anything else? So tune in next time for when we forcibly annex Ankara because they hated us for some reason because we dragged them into multiple wars that they never fought a fucking battle in. I'd like to add. Hmm. He's technically in my region. Maybe I should care. But I really don't. He hasn't declared war on me, so as far as I'm concerned, he's a good guy. Uh. Alright. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I'd like to thank you... Praise be to God. Something, something. I've been your lovely host, Galefin, signing off. Fuck it. <laughs>